Welcome back folks, it's Paul Maglev here, and today we're going to see the last two levels of Train Valley in the Japanese campaign. And you might be wondering to yourself if I hadn't clarified previously that yes, this is the Japanese campaign, it says so in the game's description online on Steam. And this is the last campaign, we've got two levels left, uh, this one and this one. Uh, and it, let's, anyway, let's just get started because I'm probably just gonna flub this up. My mom said it was a bad idea to go out and uh, record at this hour, but I certainly didn't want to do it before uh, I was told to uh, go see the doctor tomorrow, so I didn't want to have to deal with that. Uh, one thing I should clarify, I'm sure you probably noticed because I got all the stamps in the game that are physically possible, and the answer is yes, I did actually get the chance to play the whole game in my spare time, and I thought it was substantially uh, justified because the last two levels are excruciatingly difficult, at least for me. And you'll kind of see why in the moments when all the trains start uh, going all over the place. Let's see. No, no. Let's see. Wait. Let's start here. Place this here. Turn around. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. That's gonna cost us a lot because we're, as far as I can tell, uh, redeveloping little Tokyo. We got our little Gundams, we got a stadium, we got our Tokyo Tower. We've got all that good stuff. And I'm gonna have to start constructing more tracks because this infrastructure is not going to do. And I'll also have to induce demand in order to make sure that I have a steady amount of revenue. Oh! I forgot to mention, they're going to build the stadium here for the 2020 Olympics. I think they were planning a little too far ahead on that note, but maybe that's just me. Oh, I just realized something. I shouldn't... Send this train out! No! I didn't get the... I didn't get the achievement I wanted. You know what? I'm just gonna send it this way while I continue building tracks. Let's see. This way. This way. No, I can't afford that. Like this. Like this. Like this. There we go. No! Oh, there goes the other achievements. Uh, but hopefully everything is all connected the way it's supposed to be. I don't want to risk uh, connecting anything else at the moment. Well, there goes all the achievements. Now you see why I actually did this? Because it's that difficult. I was expected to not stop any trains, not break any track pieces, and not send any trains to the wrong station. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty stringent to me. But I still managed to get them in my spare time, and shit. I backed it up and it exploded! Curse you, game logic! Well, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Ugh. I need the cash. Oh, we got another city to take care of. Oh, dang. And I just sent the train in the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> this is what I get for playing a game late at night. This is all sorts of bad. All sorts of bad. No, go stop! Stop, 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 stop. Did I send it to the wrong station again? This is... Please don't go bankrupt! Nope. And then two trains that weren't even close to each other smacked into each other. Fuck my life. I was really hoping I'd get this right the first time. And I 
forgot to... Ah, oh dear. I'm bankrupt! And the 2020 Olympics shall fail! I am so sorry! Nobody will be able to use public transit to get to work or school or any of those other things. It's all be my fault because I destroyed everything. The end. Let's see, what have I done so far to completely screw everybody over? Uh, let's see, I went bankrupt in this campaign how many times? I, I've lost track. But I have to make sure that I come up with an environment that's uh, conducive to success. But that might require a lot of risk. No. Okay, that should do it. Actually, I just regret that. Let's see. Over, over, over. Dang it, I screwed up. Measure three times and cut once, damn it! Gotta remember that. If I can bend this over. There we go. And I should be able to do this. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Oh, I didn't do this. Dang it. And I screwed this corner up too. That is not good. Let's add some more trains so I can get some more revenue in. Except I can't add any because they're too expensive. No, I can't send it to the correct direction like I want to. Well, that's... Ah, oh, nerds. Just gonna have to take trains and back them up. Just back them on up. You. No, now you're gonna send you forward. I'm gonna send you this way. I just sent a train into the wrong station again. So I've lost all the achievements. Again. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so hopefully I should be able to. See Send the trains over to the correct destinations for once. Sheesh. Stop, 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 stop. I forgot to switch the other track. I am so going bankrupt at this rate. I'm just going to use a carousel configuration. That seems to be the only thing that's working. Sort of. Um, let's see, if I loop this around, I can send this in. Then take this train out. Oh, yeah, I forgot the tracks are broken. I failed! No, I gotta go bankrupt again! All the trains are going to Yellowtown and I don't have the infrastructure for it. Still not enough funds. This is so, so disappointing. But I will prevail! I will shall prevail! I shall prevail! Please slow down, please slow down, please slow down. Or please go faster, please go faster. Whichever comes first. 
Okay, so I've got this train heading in. I've got this train. I can switch the tracks. There we go. Simple pimple. This way, this way, and still can't afford that. Uh, shoot. Do I have sufficient funds? Okay, I've got sufficient funds. Okay, so we are going to send this puppy back. Turn around. No, 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 it's April. I'm gonna have to pay a tax, no! It's June. It's July. Hey, I made it! I have enough money to pay my taxes. It worked out! Here, build you here. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that totally works. Is there anything else I can do? Because I can't do this at speed times two. I still don't have a way to get trains from here to here, and that's gonna be annoying. Send this train out then. Then I'll have to back it up again. Stop. Back up. Forward. Oh dear. Can't go wrong, Will. I really want to build this. There we go. That'll get it off my chest. Let's see. Be able to send another train over. Oh dear, will be I be able to build this in time? No, insufficient funds. Three trains to their correct destinations, or at least their plotted destinations. At least I don't have to worry about the tax yet. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is so somber. 2016 and I don't think I'm actually gonna get a record for the amounts of money I can get for this level. Not that there is that sort of thing for this level, it's actually the next level that's like that. Gotta get me some high scores! Let's keep this going straight. Back up. Wait, I got this in the correct configuration. What am I doing? Oh dear. Stop you right there. Actually, no, let's keep you moving. Stop. Go. Okay. That should do it. There's a yellow city? Do it. This should do it. Is there anything else I can do? Let's 
seems like everything is synchronized like a well performs ballet at the moment. A ballet of multiple tons of steel. Let's see, we got that taken care of, we got this taken care of fairly soon. Okay, done. Oh, it's 2020, I can't edit any more advanced trains. Let's see, we'll send this train out, this configuration. Send this train out, this configuration. Is there anything else I can do here? Because this is... It, this is going very slowly. Very, very slowly. Oops. speed things up to times four and everything should be in their place. There we go. We got that taken care of. Uh, technically I think that's the most difficult level in the entire game. I hope I don't have to show you that again anytime soon. But now we can do the uh, kind of a sandboxy level and I've got a perfect formula for this. This entire map is designed on the basic prim principle of symmetry, and it shouldn't be too difficult to uh, configure it based on its topography. So I should be able to build this here, build this here, there we go. And soon enough I should have basically what I have here, all the way here, here, and here. I would have tried to do this blindly the first time, but I just couldn't for the life of me. It was just too difficult, and the taxes would kill you instantly if you built this most times, so I'm kind of lucky that it worked out. I got the WST taken care of, which is a nice improvement, and hopefully if I pass it with a high enough score, I might be exempt from taking English 100W, which I think would be a nice uh, thing to uh, escape from because I've already done enough English courses in my lifetime. I think I can write clearly enough, and if I can't, then uh, may I be struck by a flying ice cream truck and live. Let's take a little look at our empire. We've got pantographs all around these tracks, even though there isn't a single electrified train here. Which always confused me. Because the electric trains don't come until... At least in this game, until some future point in... Wait! There's another station! Stop! 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 Cease and desist! Okay. Build this here. Here, it's here. No, that didn't work. No, 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 no! No! I pushed the wrong button! One single train wreck or improperly placed piece of track could completely bankrupt you in this level. Yeah, that sucks. Oh shit, these years are going by so fast! I'm not gonna make it! Is there anything else I want to mention? No, 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 nope, nope. You are backing the truck up. Hey, we got our first electric train. An e a little EF unit, which actually, this configuration doesn't exist in real life, but nobody cares! It's just a game! Yeah, I think this is gonna work out fantastically. 
Except there's a rock in the way, so I'm gonna have to build around that top! That's what I get for being distracted. No! Not again! Fuck it. And I went bankrupt again. That might actually be a world record. Nope, I can't afford that. And I'm bankrupt again. I, I swear I know how to do this. It's just... It's just such a pain in the ass. Sometimes. Something tells me I'm gonna go bankrupt very fast this time. Like all the other times. There we go. Oh, now I remember the advanced trains actually have more cars because they're more valuable. thinking that I'd be uh, prepared for this, but I've already lost this level, like, how many times? One too many to count. But I'm building up some sort of a profit margin. So we should be fairly good to go in terms of having enough funds for future infrastructure endeavors. I hope that doesn't annoy you, that sound effect is going to be repeated a lot. Anyway, oh, I sent it the wrong way. Let's see, I think we can slow this down now. I think I've made enough progress where I don't have to worry about such nonsense. Oh, I forgot to build this. I don't know how that works. But anyway, I think I've got my flow. This is my jam. This is my fucking jam. The best br brand of jam ever. Let's see, we've got our first Shinkansen's Zero Series. And I just sent it to the wrong station. Dang it. That's gonna throw a wrench in my plans. I keep sabotaging myself. Proper destination. 
Yes, I feel this is what Train Valley's all about. The micromanagement. The thrill of uh, becoming successful or completely screwing up. Dang it, my mouse is acting up. I've got so much gunk built up on the mouse pad that it can't move. I'll have to take care of that soon. Oh dear, I did it again. You stop right there. Go in. I'm gonna have to delete these tracks because they aren't in the symmetrical pattern that I want them. There we go. There, the entire map is built. Everything should be perfectly fine and dandy from here on out. I've got enough uh, cushion to where I don't have to worry about finances. I've got my nest egg up here. They can tax me for all I want, so I'll still have enough funds to be able to survive. Which is the general purpose of most governments. They only tax enough to where services are able to be provided, but not enough to actually make businesses go out of business. Admittedly, in where I'm from, there's virtually no taxes whatsoever. And I'm sure they'll fix that someday. For some reason, the highest income tax bracket in my country is like, theoretically, 30%. But we all know that's not the case with all the screwing up again. This is the level I was talking about that requires you to get the highest score in terms of funds that you can acquire. is too fast, man. It's too fast. And it's March. No, it's... What year is it? It's 2023. We've got one train left. Actually, now that we have one train left, I can basically just fast forward through all of this. Yay, we did it! And we didn't go bankrupt for once! Oh, the financial triumph. I still didn't get a high score like the one I did previously, which for some reason is only $289,190. Move the decimal over a few times and that might actually be a real measurement of financial value worth noting, or that is to scale, I should say. And I think that's going to be pretty much it uh, for this series, unless there's going to be some other patch that's going to add another campaign. Uh, there's one thing I would like to note, though, is that we have a sandbox mode that actually has its own little book. So we can actually do stuff like actually control when all the uh, stations engage, and we can control how many trains and stuff we have, and control when other stuff spawns. It's kind of interesting. I can't build anything. Oh, now I can build stuff. And then I can add all the trains I want. And then I can go and wreck them all. Like this. 
And then I don't have to suffer the uh, financial consequences because it's just an experiment. And then I can quit. And there's this weird glitch where I'm still in the sandbox mode, but the interface is in classic mode. And look, it just slips the book away. I don't understand why it has to do that. But anyway, I think that's it for uh, Railway Valley as a series. I really, really want there to be more stuff. This series is so important to me, and I feel this is the kind of game whose fun should never end. At least in my opinion. So, I don't know what to say. It's... Uh, for now, it's the end of the line, but hopefully someday there will be more. If there isn't, that's okay. There's more train games out there in the sea. So I will see you all next time in the next patch, or in the next uh, train game series. But any other way, I will see you all next time. And until then, take it easy and stay awesome. <laughs>